the legend that is Borja Baston, the greatest ever striker in Real Oviedo and Spain's history had climbed to the top of football's Mount Awesome, becoming not only La Liga's golden boot winner by a country mile, but Europe's most prolific striker. Standing proudly at the peak of the mountain with Real Oviedo on his back. This late in his career, does he have one more season left in the tank? Can he help little Real Oviedo on its European campaign? Or will the club's fortunes and Borja Baston's form come crashing down the mountain faster than it got to the top? Hello, I'm Bood and welcome to episode 3, season 3 with Real Oviedo. As always, thanks for joining me. Make sure you do the good stuff, hit the thumbs up, get involved in the comments subscribe if you're new and hit that bell thank you very much but you know it's your view it's all about that view that's what i love that's what i appreciate the most but if you want to do anything else like become a patron you'll find a link to that down below in the description but anyway thank you for coming back for a third season it's been going quite well last year was quite mental <laughs> finishing where we finished having a striker score an insane amount of goals he probably shouldn't but he was amazing I mean, if you could do that one again, Christ, where we're going to go? I mean, we're obviously in Europe, a lot more pressure, a lot more games for my team. And I'll be honest with you, as good as the money can get, I mean, we're not in a bad way, but we're not in a great way. And I don't have as much to spend um, as I did last year, but I also didn't get rid of as many. I do feel like Del Boy, quoting a friend of mine, Rich, in the comments, um, when you're doing some of these free signings, because it is what it is. But you know what? I love that challenge. I love that challenge, um, but can I repeat, or even better, what we did in season two is going to be tough, so let's get into it. Well, we're going to start right here on the general page for one main reason. If you look at the top of the screen, you'll notice we're not in the Europa League. Now, at the end of episode two, we qualified for the Europa League. We finished fifth. You saw it. We qualified. We got the news announcement. But obviously, things change in Europe. People win certain tournaments and opportunities arise. And we've been moved into the Champions League, which at first you think, wow, great, the freaking Champions League, the pinnacle of European football, the money we could create would be amazing. It's going to be fantastic for the club's reputation, all that good stuff. But personally, I was gutted. I was a little bit pissed off because um, I had a good bit of fun in Europe. But I think the Europa League would have been cracking for a club like us. We are not Champions League level. We did great, I know, but I don't think we are. It's still the same kind of campaign. It's the new format this season, but... Yeah, it's going to be even tougher than I originally thought. Now, it's the 18th of August and I've got things in place now. I've sorted staff out and I've sorted out my players. Um, I've got two of a free and the rest on a free. Um, we're overspending on wages, whatever. That doesn't matter. Um, because, I, you know, I wanted to do the best I could, but we do have our limits here at Real Oviedo. And you'll know we had a left back on loan and I wanted to sign him. Uh, we offered him a contract. I offered him more than 15 grand a week, but it's happened to me a few times. Players choose another club for less money. He's gone to another Real. Unfortunately, not us. I mean, he was a decent player and he was going to be a backup. Maybe that's why he decided to choose them. I did, though, bite the bullet and sign Rodrigo Riquelme for 3.3 million, his release fee. I like, like at the end of the last episode, I did try and be cheeky, offer him less money, break it down. They wouldn't do it. The only way I was going to get him was for that amount of money and again you look at him on paper and he does not blow you away his value isn't insane but he's a very useful player can play right along the front um, and covering other positions but for me last year on loan it was amazing so let's run through some of the new players starting with rodrigo he was available on a free from leeds he's played at valencia he is spanish he's an experienced useful player that's going to help me up front help me in the attack um i mean he's not a world or anything but he's he's good and it cost me nothing and his wages are quite low i went for fernino i've had him before on summer i think i had him alone somewhere um villarreal did not want him we've signed him on a free which is absolutely fantastic he's a good player he's at a good age and um, could he replace baston at some point so of course i needed a left back i want two players in every position especially this season at the very least um, and we've signed dam foulon a 25 year old belgium on a free which is great. You may also remember I need a new goalkeeper. Now, Nadal, our backup goalkeeper, and my starting goalkeeper in season one, retired along with Juan Mata anyway. Um, so we needed one. This guy was on a free. Bruno Varela, 29-year-old um, from Portugal. I mean, he looks really good. I think not only could he be a backup, he wants to be the first choice. 
I've got a good young keeper and to, but you know competition I think we're much stronger now in goal now onto the two players I've actually spent a little bit of money on and we signed Martin Pasqual and um, from Rayo again they have a team down there that I've got some decent players cheap as chips now I didn't spend 2.2 million outright it's broken down a little bit I just needed something else in defence I mean, like again he's not a worldie the defence ain't bad he'll help and the last player I've brought in is Kang In Lee never really heard of him to be fair he's only 23 got a good few caps for South Korea uh, he was at Mallorca he'd asked to leave I've paid just under 7 combined and uh, maybe just just under really and i mean it, it looks like a good player again very handy all over the front in midfield and whenever you sign a player from that part of the world you always get that news notification saying oh it's gonna be great for shirt sales in asia so uh, hopefully it is hopefully we make a few quid out of him so we've expanded the coaching team by two uh, they won't let me expand the other teams and they are what they are they've stayed the same and um, so brought in some more coaches and we now have the complete set of yellow bars that, I think that was massive for us last year. Uh, and you know what I'm like with staff. If you don't, I love staff. I think it really helps having a good coaching team and having the best. So, of course, we've got the hero that is Borja Baston, who did win the most prolific striker European Best Striker Award. You know, think of the strikers on this game at this moment in time. And he was number one. Um, obviously, he's going to become 32 very soon. He was good that year before I got here. He was good for me. And then he improved tenfold last season. Now, I know I made that little video at the beginning. I'm hinting that he's going to be great. I'm hinting that it's time for him to drop off. So, I've kept faith in a lot of the players. We've got some really, really good ones. Obviously, Fran Garcia, freaking great left back. Vallejo, great winger. Um, Santi in the middle, great player. We've still got a big Ben. Obviously, we've got some new boys in there. We've got a, we've got a good team. We saw You saw what we did last year. There's no reason why I can't repeat that. I've got a lot of faith in them now. We've tested the water. We're decent. Got some decent players in. Um, I felt good. I just I was just a bit gutted about the Champions League because it's going to be a challenge. Just hopefully the money's worth it. So this is my best eleven according to my assistant Pablo. Um, now he's got the new goalkeeper in there. We'll see what happens with that. Um, but yeah, me, me centre halves are good. I like him. I know Costas only two and a half there, but he's a good player. Big Ben, Santi in the middle. Got some other good players in the middle as well. Great guys going forward, and I think I've got two very good strikers. So. I love it. And again, I've loved playing this season. I've flown through this season. Like I could not put my freaking laptop down. Pre-season again was a bit sketchy. New players coming in. We've not had the greatest of pre-season since I've been here, but it's not something I'm worried about too much. I went back to England. Yes, I am English. I don't know if you can tell. Proud Mancunian. Man United fan. Um, didn't want to play Man United though. I went to like the Midlands and then dipped into Yorkshire. So we played Birmingham, drew with them. Uh, we got Set off Coventry, who I had a great series with many years ago, and then we beat Leeds, which gave me lots of joy. Uh, and then the Budathon was back. Let's make it an annual event. Um, had some good teams all this year, and we didn't win it this year, unfortunately. But the La Liga. Now, when we got the um, the fixture list, I'm like, do you know what? That looks quite good. Like really, really good. I think we could pick up a lot of points there quite quick. We don't have a real, real, real test till Real Madrid near the end of October. But can we? Can we do well? I'll tell a lie. I said they won't let me expand any of the other teams. They did. They give me three more recruitment analysts. Whoopie do. Um, also, though, they're doing the youth facilities now, which is great. And you can see, let me increase the wage budget to mix things up a bit. You got to do a bit of that, haven't you? I mean, this chairman, Martin, he's been great, and that's what. I do. I do like that about this game because some of them are assholes. I've been at certain clubs at certain points where you've got money and they won't do anything for you. I mean, he doesn't say yes to everything, as you can see, but I've got an 83.3% approval rating when I've asked him for stuff. Long live Martin, stay here, please. Let's have a quick look at the bookies' odds. Uh, they've got us in 13th, but last year they had us in the bottom three and we finished fifth. Obviously, Real Madrid favourites, Barcelona, Fletcher Madrid, the usual boys up there, but if we can get back up there. My aim, I don't care about top four, I don't, care, I don't even care. I just really care about being in Europe now. That's what I'll be in Europe, I want some European football. Well, Borja Baston has made the favoured personnel list along with myself, which is absolutely fantastic. He is the club captain, he's a legend. And I was hoping for big things for him and all the boys and all the team, all my staff and for the fans this season. So, as always, let's jump forward to the 1st of January and see what we're up to. Well then, here we are on the 1st of Jan and we were 4th. 1-11, drawn 3, lost 4. We'll see Fernino is on 
the average rating list. And there's no Borgia Baston. Because Borgia, maybe in 32, started to pick up Knox. And it was a good thing we had Fernino because he ain't a bad player. I mean, you remember how good Baston was. How good he's been for me. Um, but like I said, he's had a few knocks. So he struggled. So obviously Fernino's been in, in and out as well. And he's got 12 goals in nine, nine sub appearances. I mean, Baston's still getting a goal every other game. But he was scoring an insane amount last year. And he was super consistent. Pretty much played in every single game um, so that's disappointing it is what it is um, I think we're playing okay and we're fourth but I didn't feel like we were, we were as good maybe now these are results and don't forget I am playing in the Champions freaking league but I'll show you that in the next save file so you know all in one go um, but like I said to you that's what I felt when I looked at the fixture list that we could go on a great run and we did we put a foundation in place we've got loads of points scored a lot of goals I mean look at that Look at that. Wow. I mean, Baston was on fire in that game. Um, and then we were fantastic until we played Real Madrid. Then we got battered off Valencia. Then I got beat off Celta. And again, similar thing. We have these great moments of form. Then we go off the boil a bit. Then we seem to find it again and go on a good run. Um, you can see there, look, I beat Barcelona again. 4-2. Um, so yeah, great run again of victories. Look at that. Lots of goals. Couldn't keep a clean sheet though. Save our life. Uh, last game I played though was massively, massively disappointing. I mean, that's all right, kicking the ghoulies. Of course, we are in the Champions League. So, you know, money's not bad. I actually got more money than I had on the last one, didn't I? 10 million up. I mean, that's a good thing. And it's been great that we're improving the team. Improving the team. We still don't own the stadium. I've tried. They won't do that. They definitely just won't do it, I don't think. Um, training facility is superb. Youth facility is excellent. I mean, I like that. I want to keep doing that. I keep getting the club into a great place. Hopefully, have another good youth intake. So let's jump forward now to April and have a look at a lot more. Starting with the youth intake, which was good again. We've got a green player, a top player, a couple of top talents, some good talents. Um, you can see I've offered most of them a contract. Couldn't be bothered with them at the bottom though. They can all sod off. Don't care. We're getting a few. And I'm hoping, because I don't really get to do it often. Some of these have got good star ratings, but you know, on paper, they're pretty turd. I mean, let's have a look at Ivan. Do you know what I mean? It'd be great to get some of them through, but you, I don't want to take, you can't take that risk, I don't think. I don't think you can, or we might take a step back and we're doing really well. Well, we were, obviously, we were in the top four. I mean, Fernino at this point, he's joint top goal scorer with Morata. Victor Ossiman is at Real Madrid. He's a goal behind him. Yeah, so you can see who's been playing, slowly pushing out Baston. But Baston, even when he's playing and fit, he's just, it's like he's lost on it. It happens, on it? Unfortunately. Could have done with another season like that, because he, he was a massive difference last year. So we have kind of gone off the boil and dropped out, for the moment, of European places. We started the new year with a defeat to Atletico Madrid. Um, so that was back-to-back -back defeats, which wasn't great. But then obviously we won 2-0, we drew, we lost against Real. That was turd. Um, drew with Villarreal, which was great. Um, got a bit of revenge on them. Then we got beat back to back, which weren't great. It's been a bit sketchy at this moment. Beat Real Betis, got absolutely annihilated off Madrid, but beat Valencia, which is a fantastic result. And again, I've lost my last game 3-0, so it's a bit sketchy. The team's a bit sketchy. We do punch above our weight, and you look at the farm, it's not obviously awesome. Um, but I'm still proud of where we are. We're not down the bottom. We're not scrapping. But for the third consecutive year, we are out in the third round of the Copa del Rey. Third round. Three years back on the run. I mean, Christ. I'd quite like a run into it now. You know what I mean? Um, started off really well, but you're not playing anyone major. Won the next game 4-0 and then got battered off real base. So it's it disappointing. But this is worse. The new format... Champions League group won by City got Liverpool there in second United have crept in to the top eight where are we where are we where the hell are we oh wait 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 a minute there's a bar here if I move this down oh no are we there where are we hello we'll, we'll turn up eventually surely behind my head at some point oh there we are second from bottom I didn't win a game I drew two I lost six it was an absolute disaster total Shit show, and it probably hadn't helped us in the league either. I mean, look at that. Started off okay. We're building something. We should have won that first game. Let's be honest. Let's be honest at home. Against who? Who were they? Um, Drew with Salzburg. And then got a bit of Chelsea, Leipzig, Galatasaray, Porto, Liverpool, and Juve. Now, you're never going to expect to get too much out of it. 
but it was atrocious. And I mean, we are really struggling to have high performing players, but you know, the thing is, and this is a trouble sometimes you get a bit of success with a team like this, like last year, having so many outstanding players and finishing where we finished, having someone like Baston, who's you know got 12 in 22, but he's not what he was about last year. And um, Fernino, though, what a player on a free. I think next year, because I don't want to lose Borgia, he's still a fantastic player, he's great to have around. He's the captain, he's still going to get me a go- If he stays like this, he'll still get me a goal every other game. But give Fernino out and out, you're number one, push you, push you, push you, because I think he could really kick on in this tactic, like Baston did. He's young, um, he's got 22 in 20, so we'll see about that next year. But next year's next year, this year. I mean, it's been okay. You've got Kang in Lee. He's a bit pissed off because he do not want to play. He plays on the right wing for me a lot. And a few other players aren't playing enough. So there will be some changes. Maybe I can move some of these guys on, make some money. But again, it'll still be like, I, I want to do that. Try and s- we'll be finding players on a free. So let's jump forward now to the 16th of May. And Real Madrid have again won the league with games to spare. And we are six. Now, we haven't got a European place at the minute. But that could still happen. On 62 points, we've got Celtic on 60. You've got Atletico or Athletic, sorry, Club Bilbao in 8th of 57. And what was it, two games left to play? Three teams already relegated, so... Yeah, look at Lewandowski. He's like, where's Borja Baston gone? But your 40 goals, he has gone. That's it, the days of Borja, I think, are over. Now, recently, we haven't been beaten. We've been okay, playing some decent stuff. I'm drawn with Barcelona. We beat them early in the season. We drew with them. We like their bogey team. Um, beat their neighbour Espanyol drew with them in a great game to be fair it's a great game uh, we just couldn't win it uh, 1-3-1 I drew against Sevilla 2-2 now unlike last year the last two games we were against a team I think one team had already been relegated and one was Almira who have been relegated this year so they weren't big tests this is a lot of pressure because I really want a game to be Europe we need to get some points I think we just need at least three I've got to win one of these games but one of them is against a team that's fighting us for a position in Europe. And the other one's against Atletico for a King Madrid. Both are away from home. Now, luckily, I've got five players over seven decent players. Obviously, Florence is more of a backup right back, but he's played well when he's played. Um, but for Nino, Frank Garcia, Vallejo and Riquelme are all doing okay. The rest of them could do with stepping up in these last two games. <laughs> Feeling it. It's like sometimes it's not about a cup final, is it? Or about a league title. Sometimes doing something like this, maybe, you know, just fighting for something important. You still feel the same, I still feel the same kind of pressure, even though it's only a game. Starting away in Bilbao. Now, this is the best team I could put out, but it's a good team. It's a team that's been playing quite a lot recently. I mean, their form is shocking, that, isn't it? Four losses and a draw. We haven't been beaten for a while, so, I mean, that tactic on the tactic page, every link-up you can have between positions is there, so... Fingers crossed, we can just do it here. If we beat these here, it's done, in it? I reckon. We'll at least have some kind of European football. But yeah, I've really enjoyed it still. It's been fun. Um, like I said, I've had a lot of time off recently. So I've got the most of the season out of the way um, on the Monday. Because I was off Monday, and on a Monday, it's great when I'm off. I love my kids, but they're at school and nursery. The wife's at work, so you can just do a few jobs in the morning, get a laptop out, and put hours and hours and hours into it, just battering, <laughs> battering that space bar. Um, but I've loved it. And I'm excited to do another season. Like I said, I don't know how long I'm going to go on for. I mean, I'd quite like to achieve something. Oh, bloody hell. I mean, I'm not fully thinking, let's do a scunny and do 20 seasons. I'm not, because I do want to do something else as well. I want to do another little let's play with another club. Um, a bit more of a challenge, like a real challenge. Like in a country, I was going to do it originally in a country I've not really, I've never played in. I don't think on YouTube. Um, in Europe. But I still want to win some it. Like, even if it's just a Copa del Rey or a conference championship in Europe or Europa League, something like that, if I could just win a major, I'd be happy. But, you know, Copa del Rey would have been pretty turd. <laughs> I get past the third round. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. It depends. I mean, once you get a few years into it, you, you start finding, like, little gems, don't you? Regens um, on freeze and so on. I could do with that, like a little worldy player. I found a couple that's gone for, like, Africans. I've been looking on there, but... Not yet. There's two, weren't there? I don't know if you watched Scun Thought. I found two young African players on a free who were amazing, who I ended up selling for a stupid amount of money, who went on to become world class for like Juventus and Paris Saint Germain and all that stuff. Um, but here we go, here we go with Quelme. Mm. But yeah, as always, thank you for watching.
uh, this late in the year. Thank you for supporting. I know we're all focusing now on FM24, the talk's happening. I can't wait. Um, can't wait to get stuck into a new game. As always, but I can't stop playing. And it's still fun to go on little adventures, still fun to have a story. Um, but if I'm honest, I'm just waiting for FM25, man. Knowing that that's this complete new game, this new match engine, new everything. It's going to be a complete reinvention, apparently. I can't stop thinking about that. I just feel like we've just got to play probably what's going to probably be an updated database for a year, waiting for an actual new game. Here they come. Oh, good sackle. Come on, boys. I know we're away from home. I know the crowd's probably putting a lot of pressure on us. It's a fantastic stadium. Great atmosphere. They're a great club. And they're winning. Ah! So it's half time. Um, the, the better team, just. I mean, we hit the post. <laughs> Come on, lads. Come on. <laughs> Tell you one thing, though. I didn't even think about this. Going to Spain, obviously, I'm going to Benidorm. So I'm wondering, in, like, in England, you can get shirts from around the country. I'm wondering, in Spain... Could I find a Real Oviedo shirt? More love, for God's sake. I'm not buying a Bilbao shirt. 2 nil. I'm not making any changes just yet. Nope, I'm not. But um, what I am doing is I've gone attacking, demanded some more, and Fernino. But yeah, I'm getting very excited now. It's getting very close. Just shot three weeks till I got a Benny down. And I can't wait. I went shopping yesterday, not for clothes. I'm waiting for that. I'm getting a boost of money from work next week. I'm going to get some nice stuff. But um, like... We made a great idea because we're going with EasyJet and you can only have certain weight, right? And it's not a lot. So he's like going on about getting little miniatures. So I went in Superdrug where my wife works. I've got like a little Lynx, a little shower gel, a little toothbrush, a little toothpaste. And um, you can get brand new aftershaves in little spray bottles for a fiver. They're doing a special offer and they'll fill it up with actual top end aftershave. And it's a bottle like that that'll last me a week easy. I'm going to go in for four nights, get a couple of them. And it's all that takes up about that much space. I'm like, that's really brilliant. I wouldn't have even thought of that. Because my aftershave is massive. I would have took everything like that and wasted weight. I'm trying not to do that. I'm like, come on. Oh, for God's sake. Chase me front line. Um, apart from Requel me. So Baston's on, Bellagio's on, Rodrigo's on. Bit of experience. Some quality. Um, we ain't getting back into this. This is going to be a defeat. Shit, it's going out of the wire and we've got to play third. Oh, if we drop out of Europe, I, I, that will, I'll feel like a failure. I will, it really will. We've been good, re going good recently. We've beat, been beat for a bit, and then I saved the freaking game, don't I? For this, start filming and you get beat. It's what it is, so you can't win every game. And we don't, quite often. But we're going to need a miracle, aren't we? Athletic or Madrid. Lejo. Three minutes of injury time. Can we dream? I mean, we're well over injury time here. One last shot of the dice. Santi finds Borgia, who just gave it away. See what I mean? He's gone. Borgia's gone, man. What an opportunity. You need to think. <sighs> well, then we played on the Friday, haven't we? Um, a lot of games on the Saturday. I'm guessing his game's on Sunday as well. Uh, Valencia got a game in hand, so they could really leapfrog us. They're, they're battling out for top four. Obviously, we're not now. Um, Celta have got a game in hand, so they can leapfrog us, knocking us to seventh. Of course, they're a level on games with us. They're out of the picture. I mean, we've got to play them. So then here we are, and it's the last game of the season, of course. Looks like Granada and Real Sociedad have already played. We're level on points with them. We haven't got the European players confirmed yet, because on 62 points, we've still got Celta and Atletico could build Bow on 60, so... There's probably a good chance we're getting beat today. If they win their games, things, I mean, anything, anything could happen. I mean, where are Celta? They're away to Levant. Great. Anywhere, Bilbao playing. They're playing. Oh, God's sake. Now, I've had to put my backup left back on. Um, he's not fully fit. I've also had to put Valasia on. They've got Depay up top, who is he's just not recovered from a previous injury from a while ago, but he's still a good player. One of the best. Uh, now, I'm not expecting us to win it. No one is expecting us to win it. I'm probably hoping for other people to help us out here. Then. I haven't got the points. We haven't got the points, have we? If we, It's not just these games, like the last game we lost, and if we lose this one, I mean, we'll see what happens. Um, it's other games we have dropped silly points, maybe. But we're still doing better than we should be doing. I mean, Bucky thought would be 13th. We're still competing and instantly getting beat. I mean, whatever's happening in other games, we're still there. 
But you know, if I don't, I don't. I'm gonna have to really a bit of a wake up call, innit? You know, we're not a European team, but I wanna be. So you know, it gives me something to aim for next season. But hopefully, we can stay in it somehow. Maybe there's another place that comes available once all the cup finals have been played. Because I haven't been following it. You know, you don't know sometimes certain teams win it, it unlocks. Like last year, we in, in the Europa League, but end up in the Champions League. So you, you never really know. But here we go. What's this all about? Checking penalty review. Did it get caught in the corner of the box? No penalty. Nope. But we have a free kick. Go on, Lee Kang. Absolute waste. But we're getting it picked up by Masengo. Come on, lad. Come on, Vines Valesio. What can he do? Pass it all the way out. It's a big bad day. Costas. God's sake. God's sake. Oh, they've long balled it to Memphis. He's controlled it. He's knocked it. He's tried to score, but he couldn't. He's a good player, and he's an angel. Is it Angel? He's called his first name. I think it is, isn't it? Well done, Fulon. No, everyone's like, what are you picking him for? Yeah, the plays is shit. Did a job then. And then, whatever's happening, we have dropped out. We're down to eighth. Oh my goodness. Come on, Elche. Is it Elche? Come on. I know you're 15th, but you can do it. You've got a goal in you. There you go. They were listening to me. I don't know what it's going to do to the league table, but we ain't got a chance here. But look how bad we are playing. So I've made five changes. Five. And give him an absolute bollocking in that changing room. I mean, we've been awful, but it doesn't mean it's over. It's only 1 0. But here they come straight a bloody way. Go on, lad. Come on. Xiao Felix as well. I mean, they've just got real class on that pitch, haven't they? Some of the players they've got Angel, Carrera, Depay, Xiao Felix. Uh, all that attack. Attack, 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 attack. Still only 1 0, even though they've absolutely annihilated us. It's only 1 0 for now. I've said that out loud. Could it be two? No! I saw the focus as well, though, if you've noticed. They didn't like that. One bit. Absolute bell ends. Look at all them red faces. Here they come. Molina. You should have seen her. Come on. <laughs> oh. Two little live comms for you. Don't know how little they are. Two defeats. That's what you come here to see, innit? You're getting me butt whooped for once. Right, come on. They're going to balloon this. Bat it into the wall. No, they're not. They're going to score somehow. How the hell did that go in? That's all. It's dead, in it. Done. Over. So, no European football. At the minute, could that change? I mean, I never understand how it works fully anyway, but this is a Champions League final. Let's hope PSG win that. Europa League's been played. Frankfurt beat Villarreal in that. Um, and the conference, Real Sociedad. Real Sociedad, who finished below us. So if they win that, they'll get a European space, won't they? I don't know. Let's let's jump forward eh, and see if we've got a freaking miracle happening for us. No, we haven't. So at this moment, on the 1st of June, We've got no European football. And I said it's like a failure and it does feel quite it does feel like a failure. It does, to be honest. And to be so close to a bit of European football, it would have been great to play in some form of it. Um but it is what it is, right? Maybe that's a good thing. It'd be easier on my team. Like I said, a wake-up call. Maybe try and work a bit harder, see what we can do. So jump forward another week and nothing has changed. It is what it is. Um financially, we're alright. I ain't got a ton to spend there, have I? Got a little bit in them wages. It's going to be a fight to improve. Um, maybe look at a cut run. I've tried. I'm going to try. I mean, Borgia. Maybe I will move him on. Maybe we'll see. Maybe I'll just try and put a load of them up for sale. Generate a load of cash. Um, I mean, Fran Garcia, now we're not in Europe, wants to leave. Be great left back. I mean, yeah, it's all going to be a shit. <laughs> to be honest. But I am no quitter and I will be coming back for another season. I'm going to fight to the death to hopefully improve this club with the little resources we have probably going to lose some good players but hopefully I can find some good players I've done it in the past I can do it again so hopefully you enjoyed that even though you know we lost we're not in Europe it was a bit kind of a failure let me know what you think down below in the comments if you are brand new feel free to subscribe make sure you hit that bell you'll never miss anything to do but most of all thank you for your view and hopefully you're not going to go missing and you'll give me another one you've got another view left in the tank for season four, which I'm back in work now, so we'll hopefully be out by the end of the week, over weekend at some point, we'll see. I feel a little bit deflated. I do, I do, but you know what? It's gonna, it's getting the juices going now. I'm already, can't wait to bloody play, but I'm off to the gym. I've rejoined it, it's time to get fit. Anyway, love you long time. I'll see you next time. I'm Bood, bye-bye.